Hey Aquarius, welcome to your February reading. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description as always, in the description box there, sorry, along with information about what decks of cards I use in all the videos, so go ahead and check out that. If you're new, welcome, and please remember to subscribe so you get all the videos I post each month. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we have the Five of Forces, um, winter and summer here. So um, we can see it's the winter side of the card. Um, so what's been going on the last few weeks or the last few months here? You could have been like um, feeling out in the cold, frozen, um, that things aren't really getting going. Um, but here we see the King of Keys. <clears throat> this could be you as well, um, ready to approach somebody or something new in your life. Um, could be somebody returning to you after they've been very cold with you as well. Um, but I feel like with the moon being in Gemini, um, it could be that now you're more a bit flirty. Um, you may find that, that people are approaching you very easily now. Um, whether you like it or not, I'm not saying you want to be, um, people to be, you know, approaching you, but it seems like somebody is going to approach you. Like I said, it could be that, you know, after a period of, um, no offers, here's an offer coming in with the winter card there. So yeah, it could feel like, you know, your love life could have been frozen. Um, but now it's thawing here. We see, um the king of keys on his way it doesn't have to be a he okay the light of the world yeah this is definitely everybody being drawn to you um i feel like this is like the hermit so you could have been stuck inside a long time um you know or just no romantic offers coming in or no job offers coming in and now we see like people being drawn to you now you're ready to come out of this hermit mode and lead the way, okay? Lead the way for others even here. So after some sort of experience here where things was frozen cold, it could have even been with a job that now you are feeling like ready to take on the world, if not even lead it. Be in charge of your own life here, your own destiny, okay? Because this is like... um when Mars is meeting up with Capricorn on the 16th and, you know, it makes you eager to get started on um, goals, life goals or romantic goals even here. It's like you're ready to come out of this hermit mode now and ready to, you know, use this light to guide yourself here even. So let's see. You could be taking up a new life path. You know, um, it's like no longer being scared to go ahead and go outside and seek your future rather than waiting for your future to happen to you. It's taking control here. The kings are very high energy. Um, you know, you're waiting to go ahead and go chase your life goals and your destiny here. Instead of waiting for this... Um, winter to thaw or go away it's like you're now going out into the cold and just be like right i'll brave the cold i'm going to put on um my winter coat and just get out there i'm ready now um so two of scrolls two worlds here so you've just got to basically take the leap of faith to change your world so if you're struggling with money um because you may feel like those things are you know meant for you life is just happening to you and everybody could be happy on the outside of that window there but it's time for you to get out and go and get the abundance that is waiting for you okay like I said you may be changing jobs or you know tired of waiting for things to change you need to take action now you need to make a decision um it could be that you know um you and this person um or just like you could be in two different places or from different places, but it's like at the moment you're living in two different worlds here. We've seen this in that soulmate reading I posted where you know one 
one seems to be okay and one seems to be frozen out here. Um, but I feel like it's decision time. Are you going to decide to go to the party? Look out the window, it looks like there's a party in there and, you know, you've cut yourself off from the world here and it seems like, you know, you're at home and you could feel very isolated like from the rest of the world here and the rest of the world seems to be doing just fine and you just seem to be like, I don't know where to go, but it's just time to get a hold of those reins here. Um, if you are um, struggling for money at the beginning of February, um, don't make any huge purchases here and don't let um, family members or friends, you know, or don't give too much to charity here because you do have Jupiter um, around and although it's a very expansive planet, it's like you could end up spending too much then, okay? So you could end up um, being a little bit short on cash here as well. So you have to decide um, to take charge, put your foot down, um, not be giving too much away because here I feel like when people are drawn to you they could be drawn to you for help and then they end up making you drained so we do have to be careful of that as well Aquarius okay so we have the bird's nest so I feel like, um, you know, you could have a lot going on in your home. You, you could be even creating a new environment. So you could be decorating, rearranging, maybe even moving home, okay? Nothing seems like unobtainable at this time if you're willing to put in the effort, right? Okay, so you may be like looking for somebody to move into your home even here somebody to share your home with. I think you are maybe focused on um, the future of your romantic goals. Maybe you're not just quite there yet, but you're willing and you're at a point now like, right, I'm looking to the future. I just need to take the step outside here and join the rest of the world. So you could be making like, like a sheet of paper or something like, this is what I want for my future goals. Um, this is what I want for my career. This is what I want for my love life, right? So it's a it's a good time for you guys to do that because um, once you've got it down on paper, then you'll be able to see that, you know, um, you can do anything once you put your mind to it. So I feel like um, this could be um, describing this person who's coming towards you as well. Somebody who loves nature, somebody who likes being out in the wild, but also somebody who's like very home proud, somebody who wants to, you know, um, they don't want to be clubbing, let's say. They want to be at home making a nice home or they want to go out in nature. They could even like build things like chairs and things like that for the home right so somebody who's very creative because it shows creativity around the home so this is that decorating or changing of the home it could be you Aquarius um but I feel like you know um this is somebody's qualities who's coming towards you the six of scrolls the sands of time yeah so I feel like they're coming in very quickly now. Um, you, it's like, look, we could say the time has run out, but I feel like the time has run out on this coldness now. So now's the time, not that the time's run out, okay? The sands of time. It's like you've waited, you've been patient, um, you've refocused yourself and your goals here. If you haven't, that's what you should be doing. Uh, like I said, be careful not to overspend at this time, okay? Um, but now is a time where your um, dating prospects um, improve immensely here. So we see uh, somebody coming into your life. You just needing to, um, you know, decide here. Is, is it what you want right now or is it something you want in the future? And if it's something you want in the future, that's okay. We can focus here on work life. We can focus on our home life, making our home more homely. 
and things like that. But it's just showing an opportunity um, to now meet somebody. I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of offers, but there's just one particular person. And I feel like that's why their interests are coming up. They like nature or they like bird watching or something. Eight of Roses. There we go. Community. We see like um, you spending time with people. Ooh, that was the wind. <laughs> okay. Um, so the wind wanted to make itself known there. Um, yeah, I feel like lots of people will be coming into your life now. New friends. Um, and I, do you see the difference here? And this is that two worlds. You know, um, I feel like now's the time to be joining um, your spiritual community. Your soul family, meeting new people. It doesn't mean everybody's going to be the same out there in the world. Um, enjoy good times with close friends and things like that. Maybe a small gathering for your birthday. It is Aquarius season while I'm recording this. So maybe some of you are going to be having, you know, just a small gathering with friends and that. You know, you're not really wanting something big. It could be at somebody's home here. But it seems like there's a lot of different diverse people there with great conversation so that seems good yeah queen of forces yeah really now being in control of your um own life and own world and well feeling that you are on top of the world here but just do remember that we're not in control of the when the sun rises or when the moon you know rises things like that just just be careful here. I feel like it's saying that with the sands of time here, things are coming together where you'll meet your soulmate like during Venus and Neptune conjunction. Um, that's um, as we just move into Pisces season, right? So I feel like it's like things are aligning for you to meet a soulmate here. Like I said, you may not want it because I know um, when I've been doing the other reads for Aquarius, um, it said somebody's coming in, but I felt like Aquarius hasn't really wanted it. You, I feel now as some of you do want this now. It seems like things have lined up and that's the sands of time there. So be open to love. Look at that, the ascension. Yeah, you know, you've done the rough work now. You know, sometimes it's, you've got to know when to be open to love, right? You've had the rough climb, you know, you're starting to see, okay, things can be good. I can just see out the window here. I can see my friends over there. I want to go join them. So I'm going, you've done the hard work here. You've climbed the mountain. You've done it on your own look. So it's time to be proud of yourself. It's time to be open up to um, new friendships, new love, things like that. I think like, um, you know, the Mars and Neptune square will make you suspicious, but yeah, just allow it. You've got to be open to it. You know, you've done the hard work, so the, your self-respect and your healthy boundaries are in place. So you'll know it's, I, I feel like it's about trusting yourself because I always say, um, when somebody breaks our trust, for example, if somebody cheats on us, we we have to learn to trust ourselves again. That's the worst thing um, because we feel like we allowed this to happen. So I feel like, you know, um, you might be suspicious of somebody like, what do they want me for? <laughs> you know, but remember not to put it all on them. We have to really look at um, ourselves and look inwards and be accountable for our feelings and our actions as well. The muse, okay, so a lot of creative energy um, around you right now, and it always happens when we have our solar return, you know, maybe we want to do something more creative um, in our life, in our job prospects, like I said, with the bird's nest there, um, somebody may give you, you know, that inspiration to do it. So you could be just having a conversation here with the community card and this person inspires you to get creative, to get moving, to start selling those chairs or whatever it is you've been building or 
those paintings maybe whatever it is creative you've been doing it's time to get moving and get you know selling it here things are really at a good time for you now to take action Aquarius okay and to allow love in okay just trust the process good luck guys